everyone. Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. How are you guys doing today? So I'm getting ready to do a 12 by 12 uh, gallery wrap canvas. And the inspiration for the colors um, is this little painting that I did off camera um, a while back. And see how that green and green yellow goes through the blue and the white? Um, so these colors are very similar to this. Um, but I didn't film it, so I don't know exactly. I just kind of slung paint in there and wound up with a really good result. I love that. So, um, no other results to show you um, because I scraped the last painting. And um, thank you guys for your support regarding that. Um, some of you commented your support that it was nice to see me actually post a fail. And uh, some other not so nice comments. But that's okay. I ignoring those not so nice comments. But anyway, um, it's all well and good. I want to get started on this painting, and I'm going to turn the camera down, and I'll see you guys. Okay, here we go. Here's the colors. Um, and they are Basics uh, Phthalo Cyan Blue, Basics Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, Artist Loft Phthalo Green, Basics Brilliant Yellow Green, and Bright Aqua Green. Uh, so lots of uh, blue, yellow, and green, you know, no chance of them getting muddied up. Uh, so that's a really cool combo. I went back to safe zone when you have a big gloss. Plus I have white. When you have a big gloss like I did, <laughs> I just felt like this was really, really safe. So, okay. Okay, so um, I started a cup. <laughs> And I forgot to put silicone in it. Look how high I got. I got to like, that's okay though. It wasn't that much. And then I realized I didn't put silicone in it. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't put silicone in it. Okay, anyway, so here's the silicone I'm using, spot on treadmill belt. And I'm going to put about two drops per cup, except the yellow, which is like going to be one drop because there's not that much in that cup at all. So... I wonder if any of you guys have ever done that. I have a video somewhere out there where I did it. And then I was, there was so much paint, I just did it anyway. It wound up coming out neat. Interesting. I don't think I kept it though. I think I gave it to a friend. I gave it to somebody that liked it. <laughs> Cause it was uh, a little boring looking. Had a nice effect, but. Quite a bit of blue in here so I put three drops okay so consistency if you guys want to see real quick um, is my normal consistency see right there let me try a brighter color right there so that's the consistency all right here we go So, not a lot to talk about today. I was hanging out with my daughter last night, nursing what I thought was a broken heart, um, but it turned out to be a miscommunication between her and her boyfriend, and um, all is well again today. Typical teenage... Uh, love up and down round and round right guys I'm gonna put blue in again right here I think that blue is gonna be a really great contrast A 
little bit of white. The house is so very quiet and I'm here all alone. All the kids are out at their jobs and boyfriends, girlfriends. Okay, the green is gone. Phthalo green is gone. I think that's going to be enough. Just going to top this off with some white and we are going to be there. It's a pretty cup. And I'm thinking about doing like my corners in dark, like that, dark blue. Because I think that would look better than white <clears throat> corners. So thank you guys for all the support. I don't know if I already said that um, regarding my last video. Um, it was a great process. It just went all crazy, you know, with, with me um, doing that kind of swiping across it and then using so many different colors, um, you know. It just was too risky and it failed and I would, knew in my heart, okay, I'm going to flip this over, that I didn't like it. And if I don't like it, then there's no reason to keep it, you know, because, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to just like keep it. But, um, oh my gosh, this, this color right here, this, what is it called? This is the, um, bright aqua green by basics. Love this color different than turquoise okay I may wreck this one it just depends Okay, you gotta take risks. So far so good, right guys? All right, that's gonna be plenty of cells. I'm just letting, letting that open up a little bit. I'm hoping that this center is gonna stay in the center after it, it opens, because I think that that's gonna be really pretty. Looks kind of like a wave right now. Let's see if we can just make that bigger. Ooh. All right, but I do have gallery wrap sides. So I think I might give it a little bit of lubrication to roll on. Just like that. All right, here we go.
What's happening here? I think I might run a torch right here. Or maybe I shouldn't. Kind of goes with this. No, I'm not. I'm not going to torch it. Change my mind. It's good to have like non cell areas. Sometimes we get a little carried away. Stop yourself. There we go. Come on, baby. Ooh, this one's turning out really nice. Last corner. Cells are stretching gorgeous. Working a little bit on the composition. Love that. Beautiful. Check my size, they all look great. guys that looks really pretty doesn't it and I I like this um, kind of smoky thing right here without cells I could hit that with a torch but I'm kind of enjoying it without um, too many cells there's a lot going on and it's really pretty so I'm gonna leave it alone and bring you guys in for a close-up okay everybody here it is um, I'm not sure which vantage point it looks best yet I haven't had enough time to look at it but this color combo is a winner. Um, so that was five colors in white. But these cells are really, really, really defined. So let me see my hand. You can see how big they are with my hand right there. But yeah, they're ring cells, multiple colors, not too many colors. And then these over here in the upper right corner. Those are really pretty. So yeah, this one's a winner, guys. I like it. I hope you do too. If you like my video, like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.